Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is not originally the video I was intending on making this week, but I feel, and I first of all, do not go out and harass um, anyone I talk about in this video. Um, this is just more of an educational sort of video, and I'm just sort of at a loss for words that at the first sign of something that you feel was unnecessary, um, I don't even know how to put it. You feel like something, you were wronged, and rather than come to me, come to my business, try to talk to, you know, anybody about it, you go on YouTube, on your video, post that, um, we're a shady business, and then he posted on Facebook to a local massive gun group, um, to never, you know, never support my local business and never do business with me. So now you've come after my business and you've come after my livelihood. Um, so I'm going to come after yours, unfortunately. The person I'm talking about here is just an opinion. David Kraut. Um, and he's a YouTuber. He's got about 100,000 subscribers. I really feel like that has gone to his head, unfortunately, and what I mean is, if you really want to know, uh, see his messages and sort of my and my family's responses to those messages, you can go on my uh, Facebook account, it's Pearson Firearms, that's my business, um, and you can see the message that he left on a local Facebook post telling people to never use business with me, and you can see our responses. And here's the situation, just because you probably aren't unfamiliar. On April 12th, I got the Terran Tactical Canic in stock. And still to this day, almost a month later, it is the only Terran I've ever been able to get my hair in. Or I said Glock, excuse me. The Terran Tactical Canic that came out. It's the only one I've been able to get. I still cannot get a second one. And I got it on April 12th and the gun did not officially release until April 22nd. So I had a pre-released, early access gun that one of my distributors got to me for just, you know, being a good, uh, being a good store, paying my bills and everything on time. So I got it in. I believe one of my friends who knows him told him about it, and within about 30, 45 minutes of me opening the box, he was there, um... And again, it was a normal, pleasant transaction. He walked in, checked out a couple guns. And he's been in my store before, and even mentioned that my prices were really good compared to other stores around us. Um, what I do is try to stay very, very competitive, and other stores around me do not. So, even if you go on the Facebook posts um, that we posted, you'll see either uh, some of my customers even posting about how good our prices are. Just trying to be very reasonable and not gouge. I wouldn't want to be gouged myself, um, so I don't try to do that to my customers. So this, in this instance, I had a pre-release Canic TTI. He came in and bought it from me. It didn't say anything about the price. It didn't say anything about anything. Walked in, did his background check, paid for it, and walked out the door. Well. And then we go on Facebook and see he's calling us a, you know, a shady deke company and yada yada. So for context, grab a gun right now, even to this day, has it listed for $1,400. If you know anything about grab a gun, they have some of the best prices around. They're usually phenomenal. The Canic TTI right now on grab a gun is $1,400. Now again, even to the, at this moment, it is currently sitting at about $1,200 on GunBroker, which is eBay for guns. And even one of the local shops that he normally frequents um, for background checks has it currently listed for $1,100. We actually had one of our friends drive down and, you know, kind of see what other people were charging. They have it for $1,100. At the time, it was a pre-release. The supply is staggeringly high and the demand is staggeringly low. So just like cars have a market adjustment and anything out there, when supply, it's just, it's basic economics. When supply and demand are not even close, the price goes up. I'll be open and honest. 
the MSRP for that gun should be around a thousand dollars. I sold it for twelve hundred. Now, you can even ask people if you know anything about this whole situation. I was extremely low at twelve hundred dollars. Like I said, right now, uh, Grab a Gun has it for fourteen hundred, and it is actively still selling for about twelve to thirteen. So, at the time, this again, this was this was released ten days before it was. I got one 10 days before it was officially released. And at the time, it was going anywhere from $1,500 to $1,800. So at $1,200, I was being very fair to myself and my business. I have to keep the lights on. And at the same time, it is still to this very day very reasonably priced. So he's upset because MSRP is $1,000, and we didn't charge him $1,000 for it. Again, this is the only one I've ever been able to get, and again, at $1,200, that is still incredibly competitive. No one out there in the entire country has it listed for the MSRP of $1,000. So, I don't know if he just doesn't understand basic economics or what. Um, again, at $1,200, I was actually really reasonable for what it was. And again, he has massive connections around in the state of Delaware, where I where I work and live, and no one else had one. So he really wanted to do a video on it, which he did. I was the only shop in Delaware that had one for sale at that time, because everyone else who got like one or two of them, they already sold them. They got it in, and they already had like a long list of people to call to sell them to. I was the only one that had one, just for sale. So that's why he came to me, and he paid the $1,200. And like I said, that, that's actually a very reasonable price for it. I still cannot get a second one. Um, so again, rather that he, he shook my hand, gave me his business card and everything, and filmed his video. He called us a shady deal. He didn't name drop us in the video. He just called us a shady dealer but he did and where you messed up was you went on Facebook and told everyone in the state of Delaware to not use my business and that we are shady to not to not come to me and to not do business with me that's where you messed up because not only are you now affecting my livelihood and my business that I'm working very hard to build it's just it's insane to me that in this two-way community um, especially locally, how we don't we don't come together and we don't work together. All these laws are getting passed all the time. We're not we're not joining together to help fight them. We're fighting each other. So this is just absurd to me how you you never reached out via phone call, via Facebook. You never did anything. You just immediately went on Facebook, not even on your own private like not even on your account, mind you. You had to go on some it was a local uh, you know, local gun rights group and post to never use my business again if you've never been there never use it and from everyone I've talked to um, there's a lot of local there's something called the Delaware State Sportsman's Association the DSSA um, I've talked to a lot of high ups in that business and everyone seems to hate this guy I guess he's very arrogant and so clearly what it is is around the little state of Delaware if you have a hundred thousand subscribers like he does it goes to your head very fast and I think he's just it's gone to his head and he thinks he has the power to shut down my business so again and to be honest actually today we, we learned about this today um, on Saturday I don't know if I'm gonna get this out Saturday or Sunday but regardless I learned about it today and I've actually already had, you know, incredible support towards us. Most people who know him are reaching out to me and saying, don't worry about him. He's a total jerk. Um, and, yeah, a lot of people seem to hate this guy. And like I said, I originally watched that video, and he, he didn't name drop us, but he did say, watch out for shady dealers. How is... Th there's people, still to this day, on cars, and even, you know, even other guns... I know several other guns that have been released a year ago, and the value's never gone down to MSRP, 
because they're still in such high demand. Again, this is just basic economics. And I could see maybe if you said, hey, I had the gun out there for $2,000. That is, yes, that's absurd. But for me to charge $200 over MSRP for a gun, that again, that could be the only one I ever see. To be, to be fair, I may not get another one. And at the time, I could have sold it to you for you, help you out, help your business out, so you could film a video. I could have sold it to you for 12 or I could have thrown it on Gunbroker and possibly made $1,800. There was people actively at the time bidding around the $1,500, $1,600 mark. Um, so I was helping you out. Again, you, these the guns at the cheapest end were $1,500 at on April 12th. But again, I had a pre-release. The gun was not out yet. So if you didn't want to pay 12 from me, you would have had to have gone on Gunbroker and paid 15 or so. Um, and like I said, even now, even if you didn't, even if you walked away from me and you want to go and grab a gun right now, it's 1400 If you wanted to go down to the gun shop that you normally go to, even now, it's 1100 So, again, supply and demand is just, I, I don't understand how that's not understood. Um, I just, it, it's crazy to me. Like, again, there's cars that have market adjustment because there's such a high demand for them and such a little supply, I mean, I just, I just don't understand. I was not gouging. I was very fair for what the market was at the time. I was the best that the market had at the time. I'm trying to keep my lights on. I'm a small local business. And again, for him to just come out there and say never to use my business again, it just, it's a hard pill for me to just sit down and take. So I'm assuming this guy, from everyone I've talked to, he's bullied a lot of people in the past. He, again, feels that 100,000 YouTube subscribers gives him a god complex and makes him this, you know, be, be better than thou kind of mentality. And I'm just, I'm not going to sit by and idly let you harm my business um, so you can feel good about yourself. I bet you, off that video, it's currently sitting at like 7,000 views, I bet you you made a lot more than $1,200 off that video. So, again, you couldn't get a, a, a this Canic TTI. This was the only one you could have gotten, and I was very reasonable. Like I said, I could have, I could have had that out there for $1,500, even $1,800, and someone would have paid it. But I'm not trying to gouge. I'm trying to be very reasonable. And at $1,200, I was. Um, that gun will probably never see the price of MSRP. Though probably, in my opinion, they will make that gun for one year. It will. N the supply will never meet the demand. And that gun will never go, go down to MSRP. It'll probably, by the end of this year, when they stop making them, it'll probably still be at least 1000 Eleven hundred, twelve hundred. It'll it'll probably never go down to what it's supposed to be. Why? Because it is the greatest. Like it's like the hottest gun to have right now. And I couldn't get them. I still can't get them. That was the only one. And you got it. I was helping you out. I was helping your YouTube channel out. And you wouldn't have had that video up. And again, for you to just come out there and you know tell people. <laughs> Hey, screw these people. They're a horrible business. And like I said, you could see, I posted. We posted them on my uh, my Facebook page. His original response and our responses to it. And again, I just I'm not gonna take this. I'm assuming he's bullied a lot of other people behind the scenes, and I'm not going to take this one just lying down. Um, I'm actively like trying to get him kicked out of some local organizations. He's supposed to be standing up for gun rights and gun groups and for him to try to, like, for him to actively tell people not to come to my business and try to harm it is, that, that does not support the two-way community, especially in the state that I live in, in Delaware. Um, so I, I think that's pretty much it. David Kraut, um, just an opinion. I, I don't support the guy. Um, Again, actively trying to harm my business, and I just, 
I, like I said, I'm just not going to sit by and idly let you do that to my business. So you might have been able to bully people before. You're not going to bully me. Um, I'm assuming you're going to look at this and you're going to say, oh, I got 100,000 subscribers. This kid only has 3,000. Um, he's, again, that God complex. You're just you're going to think you can just walk all over me and you can't. So I'm putting this out there on blast. Um, again, don't go out there and harass him or anything. Um, but like I said, I'm just not going to sit by and idly take this for you to just think that you can try to destroy my business and then when I helped yours by the way because you couldn't get it Taryn um, I helped yours with a video it's one of your more successful videos in the last like month and I help you out and the thanks I get is you try to destroy my business yeah no so that's it for this week I'm putting it out there and I'll keep you guys updated if anything else happens I guess that'll be it for today. Peace.